Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim and the Sefer Mitzvah HaKatsar. And we're holding over here today by Mitzvah Mem number 40. Mitzvah's Ase Lodun Din Afaras Nedar Mushvois, there is a positive commandment to deal with cases of nullifying vows and shvois and oaths. We spoke about last time that if a person takes a vow or an oath upon themselves, they have an obligation to fulfill it which is why many people say bli neder, when they say they're going to do something, bli neder without taking a vow. Now what happens if a person did take a vow and they got stuck in having to uphold it, but they regret that they did it. Shenema, like it says in the Torah, ish ki yigo neder l'ashem, when a man takes a vow to, to Hashem, he vows to Hashem he's going to do something. Now, means like this, if a person regrets that he ever took this vow upon himself. And he comes to feel sorry for that which has happened already in the past. He comes to an expert scholar who understands the halachas of vows and oaths. Or if there's not an expert Talmud Chacham, a Torah scholar, there you can go to three regular people and they'll act as a bezdin. But Oymer, he says, I swore, or I vowed on such and such a thing. For example, let's say that he said, I'm, I vow that I'm never going to eat chocolate cake again. But I, I regret that I did such a thing. I just got married. I didn't know that my wife was going to be the greatest baker of all times. And her chocolate cake is, is off the charts. I come in the house on Erev Shabbos, Friday afternoon, and I smell the cake wafting from the oven, and now I'm bound by this vow that says that I can't eat it, how can I do such a thing? I regret that I took such a vow upon myself. If I would have known that I would suffer by taking this vow, meaning I'm married now, I have a wonderful wife, she's trying to make me happy, she cooks this, she bakes this tremendous chocolate cake, I'm, I'm literally in sorrow, I'm in anguish over here that I can't eat it, and it's, let's just be fair, it's an anguish to my wife as well, because she can't make me happy in this way. I didn't realize such a thing would have happened by making a vow. I put myself in such an uncomfortable circumstance. I never would have taken the vow or the oath upon myself. If I would have realized, that's what the person is saying over here. If I would have realized that by taking this vow or this oath upon myself, it would create the following circumstance, which has put me into a, a place of tsar, of anguish, and of distress, I never ever would have taken the vow upon myself, so I regret that I did it. So now the chacham, the scholar who is an expert in the laws of the Dharma vows, or the three people that are acting as a best and as a court of law, they say to him, Kfar nichamta? They said, are you already sorry for what you have done? Do you truly regret and you're sorry? Yes, I am, he says. They say to him, Shroilacha. So they say to him either that Shroilacha, it's allowed for you, or you are forgiven from your vow, you're out of your vow now, or or it's permissible to you. The vow now is absolved and you are allowed to, to continue living as normal. Go and eat the chocolate cake or whatever else your vow or your oath might have been for. V'noid b'chol mokum b'chol zman, says the Chavetz Chaim, this is a mitzvah that is effective everywhere all of the time. Meaning if a person gets stuck in the midst of a vow that is very difficult for them to be able to uphold, and they didn't realize all the details and the consequences that were going to come as a result of being makabal, of accepting that vow, that oath upon themselves, says the Chavetz Chaim, so there's a way out, there's always a way out, and that is, when you come with regret and you are sorry that you took such a thing upon yourself and you explain, had I known that the result was going to be X, Y, and Z, I never would have taken the vow upon myself. So then, you can be forgiven and the vow is annulled and you go back to your regular, uh, ex- normal way of living before you took the vow upon yourself. Have a wonderful day.